here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today I'm going to do another little live commentary. Probably won't upload this entire thing. I'm just going to cut it out just kind of as it goes because it is a game of ground war. And as you guys know, sometimes these can last upwards of 15 to 20 minutes. Sometimes you can <laughs> get uh, either win or, or get beat really quick. I've played some games lately where it'll be like 20 to 10 or something, you know, the score. And it'll either, either you'll be or the other team will be put in DEFCON, which... I wish DEFCOM, I, I understand why it's in the game, but I kind of wish that they would do something with it uh, to make it maybe a little bit longer. I don't know, maybe a minute instead of 30 seconds. I'm not sure if it would help out that much. But It's a game mode that is, uh, it is pretty enjoyable to play. Uh, it's kind of like if I play by myself, I play Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirm, play a lot of ground war by myself as well because it is uh, pretty enjoyable. You don't have to worry about your teammates too much. Just kind of have to play smart because there can be somebody waiting on you from every angle in the or sniping you or whatever the case may be. Let's cover up the where I just came from. Hopefully will nobody come behind us. Looks like there's somebody in this room. Oh yes they are. That grenade is just rolling towards me. Trying to trying to back up and I just keep seeing throw grenade, throw grenade, throw grenade. That's it's always a bad sign. But yeah, it's, it's pretty enjoyable. If you're playing by yourself, it's definitely something you kind of have to slow down a bit and kind of watch all your corners because if you have a team, at least, you know, if your team teammates are with you, you kind of call out the spawns and they can, or call out the areas where, you know, if you die around the spawn or die in an open area of the map, they can kind of help you out or, you know, maybe get the kill if you die. But when it comes to just playing solo, you're kind of out here on your own. That guy... Let me get that guy all going towards B. So they're going to be coming up these steps here in a hurry. So I can call this cruise missile in and maybe pick a handful of them off. I don't know if we're actually going to get any right here. Maybe we'll get this guy. Yeah. And here they come from that room as I figured it would happen. Luckily, those two guys did not pay me any attention. So we can get this called in really quick. I don't know where it's going to put that, but who knows? It's getting flashed just to death. My goodness. That guy's still in here with the... Let me see if I can back up really quick. Get some ammo thrown out here before I get into a, a firefight that I can uh, seem to handle. Kind of threw that in the wrong place, but it'll work. In case you did not know, you can you can wall bang players on that little piece of tin where that guy's standing right there. You can wall bang them on the other side of that when they come up the steps pretty easily if needed. Uh, a lot of times it'll be where you get shot from if you're on the side that I was facing. Oh, man, two dudes are behind me, too. Rocking the MP7, which is a very good gun. I, it's a gun that I have... Like, all the guns in the game, if they're not finished, they're, like, in the 30s or 40s. I just need to do some more work. There's a couple that I have not messed with a lot. But for the most part, most all of my guns are, like, in the 30s or 40s. And it just takes so long to rank all these guns up that it's it's kind of annoying um, trying to get them all done. Because you really want to, you know, unlock stuff and then really try it out once you get everything unlocked that you want to use. So it's kind of hard to, you know unlock everything for every gun and use every gun for a long period of time. I've pretty much gotten stuck on using the AK for the most part. It's probably my one of my favorite guns. All these dudes are just hanging out in buildings which is going to make this kind of interesting. It seems like a lot of people wearing... I don't know if there's that many people wearing cold-blooded or not. But I've noticed a lot of times I'll get the AC-130 out and just can't find anybody and then or, or it'll be that kind of situation there where they're all so far back in their spawn that it's kind of hard to find them there we go we're kind of getting the, getting the spawn going here a little bit oh, that's not too bad too bad of a run with the AC-130 that's why I've really got to where I enjoy running kill chain and, and, and ground war uh, if you can get that VTOL and let it get a couple kills, you'll have your AC-130 pretty quickly. 
kill chain is is pretty handy. I'm not I'm not 100% sold on running the cruise missile as my you know first kill, but sometimes I can get three or four kills with the cruise missile and get your veto automatically. And sometimes you can. It's haven't really found that first kill streak that I can really chain all this stuff together with. And plus, you got to be careful because sometimes you'll you'll kind of be waiting and uh, you know or kind of be waiting to call that in, or you'll not wait long enough to call that in where you go on a longer gun streak. So I try to. Sometimes I mess up when it comes to my kill streaks. I'll call them in too soon, you know, and get shot in the back and could have gone on a longer gun streak. Or, you know, sometimes it's vice versa. I'll wait too long. <laughs> it's just it, when you're using kill chain, it's kind of hard to find the perfect time to chain it all together. This guy is going to wait on me. That was a bad idea. That almost got me instead. I thought that other guy was going to hop and check me. There is a sniper down there just waiting. Which is not a very good sign. So we can get something out here behind us in case somebody runs up these steps really quickly. Put about right there. That'll be a good location, hopefully. Probably going to have to get out of here anyway. Probably about to... Uh, I was about to say, I, <laughs> sometimes some of the stuff in this game is, is hard to, sometimes I question some of these, <laughs> this bullet registration, and I'm probably going to get shot in the back, but we're going to go ahead and try this. Nope, not yet, so we're still rocking. Now, whether we'll be able to stay alive right here or not, who knows, because there's going to be dudes down here. Be best to close that door. At least maybe I'll hear them open it, which is not going to be a guarantee in ground war. It's hard to hear exactly what's going on in ground war. So much, so much noise. Put that VTOL to guard right there. I didn't really see a whole lot of kills with this VTOL yet. Let's see if we can get another AC-130, which would be, be all right by me. I'm going to have to probably back up and go back towards C because it doesn't look like our team is completely finished uh finished getting oh yeah they're getting it back now we're still losing b got an assist on that one need to get one more kill but i really don't want to stick my head out here with all these snipers so probably just going to back up and ease on back down to this side of the map if i can get up somewhere around c might cross somebody find somebody crossing the street here try to avoid getting shot in the back one off a AC-130 streak. Not quite, quite sure where these enemies are over here on B. And they are taking C back, so. Kind of getting surrounded. <laughs> I might have put myself in a bad situation here. Let's try this just for a second, see if we can peek anybody coming off of B. Like that right there. We can find this guy. Got tr this is one reason I really love Tracker, but I'm still going to get shot. I really have enjoyed running Tracker lately. Besides the, the footsteps, you also get, you know, that death location when, uh, you know, the enemy teams die. So, you know, you kind of get those red skulls. Kind of gives you an idea of where... Uh, they're all being kind of located at, I guess. Let's see if we can do something with this. A lot of... <laughs> bad thing about this map, it's just hard to catch people outside of buildings because when they hear any kill streaks come out, they just pretty much go hang out. Kind of in a bad spot, too, because every, they can get to the, the corner of a building pretty quickly. we see anybody back in this direction oh yeah got a couple here on a get rid of those got this tank here on a another tank here on a get rid of both of those that'll be great and now i've gotten a little too much distance i knew that was about to end sometimes i can my favorite map probably is farm to use the uh, ac-130 on because 
you can still spam those buildings pretty easily and get a lot of kills. Um, the windows, these these buildings here, they, there's a lot of places they can get underneath, you know, uh, like a second floor or something, and it's pretty impossible to be able to hit them through the windows or anything. Oh, he's behind the... Ah, man. At least teammates, squad mates like their at least Cap and D. So it wasn't all in vain. Throw this out here. I really like these strip mines better than claymores. I kind of hate using either one of them. I really do like sticky grenades, but I mean, it's, it's, it's all I get killed by now. I mean, even with the OD on, there's still trip mines and claymores and everything. I'm either, I'm not usually dying to them and just setting them off. So kind of point again, or if you can't beat them, join them kind of thing. Oh, behind me with the shotgun. That shotgun right there is really, really good. I know a lot of people don't use the, the R9, but that shotgun is absolutely amazing. If you have not tried it out, if you're a fan of shotguns, definitely try that out. I, I'm not a huge fan of using shotguns. They are absolutely ridiculous, though. They're still... Oh, they're spawning field of B. Teammates should get those guys. See if I can pull this off and not... Oh, there's a guy right here under me. Not break my neck. Get that put out there in case anybody decides to slip up underneath. Oh, man. That was a bad thing. At least we got one with the trip mine, but if I'd had a that would have been a better, better situation to have the grenade in. Try to get back in here on B and see what happens. Flashed, can't see anything. Let's see if we can catch that, catch them off guard coming from this way. Sometimes they will spawn, just depending on the spawn on B. Sometimes either between B and D, or I'll get a shot from the building of A, or it will be the the spawn of the B side from A. If they'll spawn out here in the actual but by pretty much where I am right now. That is a good way to sit here and just spawn kill the team if you'd like to. We might have pulled something off here. Let's see if we can do this. Nope. <laughs> well, I got him with a tube at the end. That was kind of dirty. But <laughs> you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Their whole team just seems to be I guess kind of congregating around B flag. But this one's about to get wrapped up here, it looks like. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this live commentary. A little bit of ground war or something. Just kind of mix it up. Uh, last live commentary we did was, you know, Team Death Match. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. Of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It helps out the channel a lot. Make sure you click the bell icon at the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description below. I've had one of their chairs for over a year now, and I really do enjoy it. So if you're looking for a good price gaming chair or an office chair, definitely give them a look. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.